My name is Ron Dorn. I'm the faculty member who helped develop GPH 112 along with a PhD student, Ryan Heinzman. And I'd like to present to you an interesting opportunity for you to earn points in the GPH 112 class and also conduct research for when you get to go on vacation to the big island of Hawaii. I think it's a win-win-win. You get to understand where you want to go on vacation. You get some extra background from the 112 class doing the physical geography lab. And then you also earn some extra points, hopefully to earn the grade that you want in, in this class. So I'm going to turn to sharing the screen. And I just opened the Big Island of Hawaii video game and I landed on the Kohala volcano. It took a while for this video game to build up and play. And it's gonna start heating up my computer because as I scan around with the camera angle, it's stunning to me that you can have a perspective of seeing everything in the Big Island according to scale. I can see the Mauna Hualalai volcano in the background. And I spin up to see the Mauna Kea volcano, to see the rainy side of Kohala and the deep canyons eroded into it, and then the rain shadow side of Kohala, all with real perspective. And that's going to warm up your computer. Don't worry about it. It's got a fan. And after about seven minutes, when it's built the entire DEM, it should slow down the processor and... Uh, Basically, your computer should be billed for this. It's what the minimum system requirements are when you purchase the video game. If you met the minimum system requirements, don't freak out and don't worry. So let's jump right away to the Canvas module page where you learn about what to do in terms of doing research and earning points. You have five research location opportunities, each worth two points. This page in Canvas that I'm showing you is where do you get the sources of information to carry out res your research? And then it provides you an example from each of the three main labs, not the Lightning Lab, the Grand Canyon Topography Geology, the Grand Canyon Microclimate and Vegetation, and then the Hawaii Lab. You cannot use the locations that I use as examples. I pulled the Kilauea caldera out of fair game. I used Kilauea as an example of obtaining information from a source outside of the PDF files I provide you in Canvas. And also, I really don't want to read hundreds of extra credit, not extra credit, there's no such thing as extra credit, of extra research point opportunities all on the Kilauea volcano or the Kilauea caldera. I want you to dig a little bit. So where do you dig and get this information? Well, here's one source of information where I've trimmed down a very long report from the U.S. Geological Survey that gives you an overview of the Hawaiian Islands, the sort of how the precipitation and water system works, the vegetation cover you'd expect to see on the big island, the climate of the different islands of Hawaii, from the perspective of the trade winds and issues like rain shadow, and then the different stages of volcanoes, the shield, the post shield, the rejuvenated stage, in the different issues of rift zones. And it goes into the basics of the different sorts of features you find in terms of the volcanoes and lava flows on the Big Island. This should be enough for you to carry out the research, but there's also another file that I obtained from the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park that digs into further details if you really want to go into such issues as the Mauna Loa, Kilauea volcanoes, or if you're really interested in, let's say, the stages of the different volcanoes. So this is the source of information you use to carry out the research for different locations. 
So in the game, what I really want you to do, and you can do this before the lab even starts or at any time, is just explore, develop a curiosity about a location you want to travel to. I'll give you a specific example. And it's an example where you won't find it in these PDF files and you might have to dig a little bit of research. Let's say you've always wondered about the green sand beaches. And the green sand beaches are located near South Point, which is the southernmost point of the Hawaiian Islands and the Big Island of Hawaii. How do you get to South Point in this video game? Yeah, I'd use the fast travel menu and I would use the inset map in the fast travel menu. I click out around South Point and then I jump to South Point and the fast travel menu and go, whoa, okay, I'm around South Point. I'm where the green sand beaches would be. The resolution isn't high enough. I'm right where the green sand beach should be and I can't see the green sand beach. Darn it. That's probably not a good one to do for this game environment because the formula for doing this research is you first present a paragraph on what you did in terms of research from a reputable source. Then you have to have a screenshot in the game and then you interpret the screenshot in the game. So how about black sand beaches instead of green sand beaches? The black sand beaches are made when a recent lava flow starts to erode and the pieces of the recent lava flow are moved by coastal currents and they accumulate in an embayment. So I'm gonna hop around here to recent lava flows coming off of the Mauna Loa shield volcano. So I'm looking up at Mauna Loa and in the inset map, here's Mauna Loa, the biggest volcano in the world. And all of these lava flows flow down to the ocean. And I'm gonna to start to gonna investigate if I can see any coastline that is black. The whitish that I see along the coastline is from the coral. Coral breaks up into pieces and the whitish material is the coral material that is involved and accumulating in the beach environment. But if you look carefully in some settings, you might find an area that is not coral that could be a black sand beach. Fantastic. So I'm in an area where the coral has disappeared. I'm near a new lava flow. I take a screenshot of this. So with a screenshot in a Mac is different. You'll have to learn how to take a screenshot. Please don't do, use your phone. So I'm taking a screenshot of this particular location, but I'm having a good time checking around different spots and I'm gonna go jump up to a place where I'm gonna stay which is Kailua Kona. And in the Kailua Kona area up here, there are a lot of new lava flows coming from the Hawalai volcano. Let me go check out that for a black sand beach. So I'm using the inset map in the fast travel menu to jump to these locations, or I just could go to the Kona International Airport. So I jump to the Coney International Airport, which is this location here. You can see the runway in the Landsat image. And now I can also see the lava flow and the coastline is mostly black. It's not white. Huh, I've got my good target here. Black sand beaches coming from lava flows, coming from the Hualalai volcano. Here we are. I am now taking a screenshot that includes the black sand beach, the rabbit, the latitude and longitude. And not only that, I'm now going to the inset map. And I'm gonna click here to center the inset map. 
I'm just on the edge of the inset map. There we go. I'm going to indicate the avatar there. All right. So I've got my screenshots of an overview inset map and where the avatar is. Now I just need to find information about black sand beaches. So let me see if this PDF file has any information on black sand beaches. Ah, it does. Black sand. The landscape within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park consists of lava. Sparse beaches areas include tidal accumulations of black sand, olivine green sand, and some coral sediments coming from marine high stands. Cool. Okay, so I've got my research that sparse areas would accumulate black sand. Um, so I've got my research about the areas in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and the Big Island of Hawaii. And I write up this research for one paragraph. I have my location and I'm interpreting this other paragraph. And if you wanted to dig in a little bit and use another source about black sand beaches and where to find them on the Big Island, please do so. I hope that all of this babbling on my part has simply encouraged you to use the video game venue and to do something that would be very difficult to do on ground, which is to hike all over the Big Island and explore locations such that you might end up going on some really interested targeted hikes to see what you've explored in research. Have fun, that's first and foremost. Use the knowledge you've gained in physical geography to explore the world.